Hello everyone, and as promised, I have a um, in-depth review of the Brickmania Filthy Thirteenth minifigure. Um, this is a World War II U.S. 101st Airborne Division paratrooper, a part of the Filthy Thirteenth Company. And um, let's get his M1 carbine out of the way. First, let's start with the helmet. Um, actually, I'll do the helmet when I put it on him. So first, let's start up at the top. We have his war paint on his printed face. Very nice details. Some brown and white paint. And then the um, mohawk. That they that one of their officers made famous and then as we go down into the torso we have a nice uh, open full collar that comes down and under we have a lighter shirt and a light lighter tunic we have the web gear we have two pouches on the front one on the side and then another on the other side. That is on the US web gear. And then we have a hand grenade and then pouches underneath the web gear. And then on the sides we have a pouch here. We have a holster here. And there's some of the jump boots. Very nice boot printing. We have some pads. We have more pockets. And as we go here, we have more padding on the elbows and then a nice collar or uh, wrist collar and some buttons. And then the shading and sort of camouflage is evident under here and on the sleeves and somewhat here. And his overall just dirty look and more darker camouflaging patterns uh, can be seen then we have his um paratrooper gloves the tan gloves that they would wear then we have the a smaller pouch and then the airborne logo focus oh that's not a pocket sorry that's another that's um a part of the patch and then we have a watch, so he can obviously tell the time. And the camouflage continues on this side. And here's this, another pouch that is also not on the side due to the holster. And another pouch, and camouflage continues under. And a nicer, uh, another look at the drum boots. Nicely laced. And then the soles are evident also. And then in the middle, as always, the Lando and the Brickmania um, logo, per se. And then on the back, we have a U.S. canteen. A, I believe this is the parachute cord. Not 100% sure. Then there's a knife, I believe. And then the collar continues on the back, and so does the web gear under the bag. It's either a back sack or a backpack, or a um, parachute. Sorry, I was drawing a blank on the word. But yeah, and the mohawk is included. So let's take a look at the helmet on the fig. Drop the mohawk. Here it is. Alright. So, up on the top we have first aid kit that is um, not 3D printing but textured printing. Then, under is the netting and then the burlap strips that they would stick in the netting. A lot of the airborne would stick in the netting for camouflage. 
and then the front strap, and then the rear strap is nowhere to be found. Um, but yeah, paired with the M M1 carbine or M1 Garand. Any any uh, U.S. weapon would work with these figures, but paired with that, it makes a very good figure. Overall, pretty good, pretty good um figure. Printing quality is amazing as always. Um, it is from a few years ago, so everything like the pouches are a bit, like all the lines are a bit darker compared to newer prints. But that is okay. I um I like the older prints compared to the newer prints. But yeah, um gonna put this back in his hand or put it in his hand, not back in his hand. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you in the next one.